Tens of thousands of people have gathered in the Czech Republic's capital Prague to demand the resignation of Prime Minister Andrej Babiš. Opponents of Babiš accuse the populist leader of profiting from his office and conflicts of interest. He's one of the Czech Republic's richest men. The protests coincide with events commemorating the start of the 1989 Velvet Revolution that toppled the communist regime in what was then Czechoslovakia. Organizers say they want the Czech Republic to rediscover the pro-democracy ideals that fuel the protests 30 years ago. Standing by for us in Prague is DW correspondent Jonathan Crane. Jonathan, good to see you. Um, tell us what is happening where you are right now. Well, this is the latest in a series of protests organized by the activist group Million Moments for Democracy. And initial estimates would suggest that this is by far the biggest that they've held so far, surpassing the quarter of a million that came to Letna just behind me in uh, June. Now, as you say, this coincides with the anniversary of the Velvet Revolution, the fall of communism in then Czechoslovakia. And that fact hasn't been lost on the protesters here. The people we've spoken to say this isn't just about fighting corruption. This isn't just about demanding the resignation of the Prime Minister Andrei Babiš is about not taking for granted all those hard freedoms, liberal democracy that was fought so hard for 30 years ago. Now, uh, Babiš has drawn comparisons with Donald Trump in the US. Uh, Babiš leads a populist party. He is a, a very rich businessman, as you say, and he's accused of being in conflict of interest because, as well as being the Prime Minister, his businesses, although in a trust fund, um, people say he is still benefiting and using his position as Prime Minister to further those business interests. Now, earlier I did speak to one of the protest leaders, Benjamin Roll, and he explained to me why people have come out today. Well, the main idea behind Million Moments for Democracy is the activization of civil society and to make people to realize that every single one of us has responsibility and that we can do something and change our way of thinking and change even the politics. All right. Well, some very lofty goals there. Um, this young man says he wants to change Czech politics. But Jonathan, what exactly does he mean by that? Well, um, they've said that they've offered the Prime Minister an ultimatum. Either he gives up his conflicts of interest, he resigns, or they will continue to protest and up the ante. Now, I think they would be the first to admit that regime change is not going to happen just like that because uh, Babish is very, very popular still. His party is polling at 30%, by far the most popular party in the country. And if you go outside of Prague in the regions where he's wooed older voters with promises of more money, uh, more money in their pension, you know, the party is still very popular. Ty to that, the opposition is quite fragmented, quite ineffective. So there's nobody really to challenge him. Even his coalition partners, the Social Democrats, won't walk out on the coalition because they know they would face um, electoral obscurity. So it is still going to be very difficult for the Prime Minister to go anywhere. I think protesting is one thing, but regime change is probably quite another. DW correspondent Jonathan Crane reporting for us from Prague, the Czech capital. We thank you very much.